Welcome back family, AVS here, and today I have some very interesting footage that I would like to show you that took place at the coronation of King Charles. Now this footage is going around the internet and many are claiming that it is an appearance of the Grim Reaper. Now for those of you that are regular viewers, you know that I do not speculate on this channel, I only go by the facts. So without any further ado, I'm going to show you the footage in question and then we're going to take it into some editing software and take an even closer look. And here's an even closer look. Now, I would like to show you something very interesting. This is the footage that I just showed you frame by frame, okay? So we're going to go through it frame by frame. And this is the only th frame where you can really see a scythe, as they are calling it online. So I'm not sure if they have a higher quality version of this footage. Maybe they have it in 4K. And that way you can see the edge of the scythe. But I wanted to show you honestly that the scythe does not show up in this footage that I have gathered. Now this frame here, as you see when I flick through it, you can see something shows up here. Not sure exactly what that is, but I wanted to show you that. Now, the reason why I am showing you this is because if we look at this image, this image is the image that is trending all over the internet, especially on Twitter. And as you can see, there is clearly a scythe in his hand. That is without a doubt. Now, do you believe that this image is legitimate? Do you believe that it is literally a screenshot of the footage that was actually playing at the event, maybe from a higher quality camera so the scythe shows up? Or do you believe that this is edited footage, an edited image? Let me know what you believe in the comment section below. But before you leave, that is not the only option. I did a little more research and take a look at these claims. According to The Independent, this is what they reported. As more than 20 million people tuned in to watch the King's coronation on Saturday the 6th of May, only a handful of eagle-eyed viewers spotted the mysterious cloaked figure holding a scythe. Now, they put quote-unquote scythe because I'm pretty sure they don't know whether it was a scythe or not. The same way we are kind of speculating, is that a scythe or is it edited? And walking through Westminster Abbey, a clip of the moment went viral online, with viewers joking that it had been the Grim Reaper. Anyone else just noticed the Grim Reaper at Westminster Abbey? Wrote one person on Twitter. While another added, who invited the Grim Reaper? Now, here we're going to get to the, the claim. Social media users were left asking whether the figure had been someone pulling a prank, knowing the coronation was being televised, or if it had just been a random passerby. Now, let's be clear here. The King of England was going through his coronation. How high do you think the security would be? I doubt there would be a prankster in the Abbey. That would be a security breach, for sure. And I'm sure they probably had extremely high security. So, I personally believe that that option is not the truth. Now, this is the other claim. When contacted by Newsweek, Westminster Abbey identified the figure as a verger, a member of the Abbey community who assists with religious services, but who is not a member of the clergy. So let's do some research. I literally went onto Google and tried to find images of the verger. And I did find some images of the verger. This guy here, for example, this guy here. Now, none of these so-called vergers are carrying a scythe. They are carrying, though, a stick of some sort, a staff of some sort. So, whether that image was edited or not, let me know what you believe in the comment section below. Do you think they added that little hook bit on the end, as shown in this image here? Or, do you think that something more sinister was taking place, and the verger story is just a cover-up? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Either way, this was an extremely, extremely interesting event that took place and to be honest it was more interesting than the entire coronation <laughs> so you know at least uh there was some entertainment that came out of this event another thing that i did notice as well that doesn't quite line up with the verger story is that the verger never wears a hood in any of these pictures he seems to be well wearing that outfit not a hood of any kind so it's pretty interesting either way. So do let me know what you believe about this entire situation in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate that. If you do enjoy my content, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. I released a very, very important video yesterday and I highly recommend that you all go and watch that. It will be the video that I posted before this one. And it probably is the most important video that I have ever posted on my channel because it is 
discussing salvation and what the Bible actually teaches about salvation. I pray you all have a beautiful day. May the Most High Yah shine his face upon you always and give you peace. And I'll see you on the next one. Shalom, shalom.